is the azimuth duffel. So just to give you guys a quick down and dirty uh, rundown. So this is the azimuth backpack packed up, as you can see. And then this is the azimuth duffel. So as you can see, they're pretty close in size, okay, when they're fully packed up. I know some of you guys would be asking about that. So I'm going to go ahead and deploy the duffel. Now, when I stuff mine, I leave the shoulder strap separate. So I just pull that shoulder strap out. And then just turn it inside out to deploy the duffel. And then that pocket that it stuffs into becomes an external uh, pocket in the duffel bag itself. So you have a nice little uh, segregated compartment on the outside of the bag. Reversible zipper. And then, as you can see here, you have a 33 liter carry capacity in duffel variant, just like the Aspen backpack. It will be offered in two colors, um, just like the Aspen backpack. We'll have it in solid black, and then we'll have it in the black brindle combination that you see here. You have two carry handles uh, on the top. It clips shut just like the Azimuth backpack does, so if you really get this thing stuffed to the seams, you have the ability to really open it up and, and stuff it full. Opening up to the main compartment, you guys can see here, you do have an internal uh, So you do have one large uh, internal organization pocket running down the side of it, so then you can open that up and have that segregation. That is separate from the previous uh, pocket that I mentioned that's in the front, okay? So when it's fully deployed, you basically have three compartments, that external uh, small pocket, that's the stuff pocket, the large internal uh, space, and then the back of it, which is a segregated compartment as well. It's maybe hard to see on film, but uh, you do have four anchor points to, to either side, so you can mount a, um, a control panel um, or a transport sleeve or a run compression straps in there if you want. So um, it, it's, for, for being such a lightweight and stuffable duffel, you do have a lot of options there. So now I want to go over the strap real quick. So you have a really robust strap. This is actually um, very similar to those of you that own the Parallax Messenger bag. This is very similar to that setup. You're going to have the same buckle style for a really quick adjustment. So if you wanted to adjust the length of the strap, you can certainly do that very quickly and easily, as you can see here. Okay. And then for those of you that have the Spectre Carry system with the uh, Snap shuffles here. I'm going to show you. So, the way that it attaches is just like those attachment systems on the azimuth, or I'm sorry, excuse me, on the uh, Spectre Carry system. Okay? So, I'm just going to show it real quick. So, you would deploy the duffel, and I'm going to run my strap out because I'm going to show you guys something cool here. And then you have four attachment points on the duffel. So you can run the straps uh, on one side of the duffel and you can run it uh, diagonal across it like I'm about to do here. So if you wanted to run it kind of shoulder carry, you could do that. So you simply just slide that on and attach those. And so you now have, for if you wanted to do a shoulder carry, and I'll just show you guys real quick, adjust that strap. And you now have shoulder carry duffel. It makes for a great gym bag, or if you just want to stuff it in your light speed or your axiom or something like that, and you run by the grocery store on the way home and you just want to carry some additional supplies, it's great for that. So if you wanted to run it uh, diagonal across it. And then the other great selling feature with this is if you loosen the strap kind of all the way out at first, lock that in. Take one side out. Okay. You'll notice the carry handle here on both sides. If you 
loop that strap through the carry handle, like so, and then attach it to the opposite side of where it's already attached. Like so. You now have a backpack configuration for your duffel. So to give you an idea of what that looks like, you now have it in backpack configuration as you can see here. So, not ideal for long-term carry or something like that, but if you need to move quickly through the airport or you need to carry boxes in or additional equipment in uh, for whatever you may be doing, it's a great carry option for the Aspen Duffel. So, so there you have it. That's a quick down and dirty uh, rundown of the Aspen Duffel.